tutorial video was created to help you understand the difference between online electronic signatures from within the permanent residence portal compared to digitally signing a PDF form, which will be uploaded into the permanent residence portal. We will begin by taking a look at how an invited refugee, also known as the principal applicant, will electronically sign their declaration form online from within the permanent residence portal. A principal applicant who has the language skills and access to reliable internet can be invited to the online application to fill out their own form. Once they've signed into their own user account for the PR portal and provided the required information for those online forms, they will need to navigate to the declaration section by clicking on this menu item and then to click on the blue start button here. And when the declaration page opens, in the first part of the form, they will indicate their preferred response to these questions. And then to scroll down to read the next part of the form and scroll again to the signature section where they will read what inserting their electronic signature means, such as, they are declaring that the information they have provided is true, accurate, and complete, and that no one else is signing this declaration for them. And that by signing their name, they understand that they are electronically signing the declaration form. Then they will scroll to read the remaining section of the form, and then click to complete and return to the application. If at any time a change is made to the information they've provided in the online form, the principal applicant will need to re-sign their declaration before the application can be submitted by their sponsors. We're now going to take a look at how to download a PDF version of the principal applicant's declaration if they do not have sufficient language skills or access to internet. When a refugee does not have sufficient language skills or internet access to be able to complete the online forms or declaration, they will not be invited to the online application. Instead, the sponsors will need to navigate to the declaration section of the online application and click on this link here to download the PDF version of the principal applicant's declaration form to their computer. This form can then be emailed to the principal applicant to complete and sign. Once the sponsors receive the signed declaration form from the principal applicant, they will go back into the PR portal and click on this upload button here. Now let's take a look at what is needed to digitally sign a PDF document. A downloaded PDF form can be signed digitally using any PDF signing tool such as these. However, I do want to point out that Adobe Acrobat provides an app as well as an online tool called Adobe Document Cloud for users to digitally sign a PDF form at no cost. The app can be downloaded to a mobile device, and this may actually be helpful for refugees to digitally sign their declaration if they can access the internet from their cell phone. Sponsors can use this app as well for signing their sponsorship form or they may wish to use the online version, which can be accessed from a computer. Simply go to this web address and create a free Adobe Document Cloud user account. Keep in mind, you will not need to select any links that say Start Free Trial. Those are for a different product called Adobe Acrobat Pro, which requires you to input your credit card details. Just choose one of these options to create a free account. As I mentioned, Adobe Acrobat Online is a free service, so you'll not be required to enter your credit card information unless you are choosing to upgrade to a paid service. Now that you know what you need, we will take a look at how to digitally sign a PDF document using Adobe Acrobat Online. For this demonstration, we will show how the PDF version of the Principal Applicant's Declaration can be digitally signed using Adobe Acrobat Online in a web browser from a computer. 
In this example, we're assuming that the refugee has access to a computer and internet. If they do not, they would simply sign a printed copy of the declaration using pen and send it back to their sponsors. So to begin using Adobe Acrobat online, the principal applicant will need to sign in to the free Adobe account they had created and upload the PDF document they want to digitally sign. So once the document has been opened, the user should read the entire document before signing or have a translated copy to read so they can understand what they are signing. Then they can click on the letter A here to reveal the text tool option and select the second option, which allows them to place a check mark next to their preferred response to these questions. Then they would scroll down to where the principal applicant will insert their digital signature. To do so, they will click here again on the letter A and select the first option, which is the type tool. Then click on the space where they need to sign and click inside this box so they can type in their name. Then they can use this same tool to insert the date. So as you can see, inserting a digital signature for the principal applicant is pretty simple. At this point, the document can be downloaded. And there is also an option here to compress the file as needed or save it to another file type. Now let's take a look at some different options available for inserting digital signatures. Sponsorship group members may actually have the Adobe Acrobat Pro or Reader installed on their computer. These programs can also be used to insert digital signature, whether or not you have an internet connection. Let's take a look at how an application can be digitally signed when using these installed programs. For this example, we've downloaded the Group of Five Sponsorship Undertaking form from the Permanent Residence Portal and opened it using Adobe Acrobat Pro. We will use this form to show how sponsors can choose from three different options for inserting their digital signature. The first way a sponsor can sign is the easiest method. They would simply click on the signature space and type their name directly into the form field provided. However, if the signature field cannot be typed into, then you can use the Fill and Sign tool, which you can access from the sidebar menu here. And when the dialog box appears, simply type in your name. And once you click Save, you will move your mouse to the correct spot on the page and then click to insert the signature. You can also resize the signature as needed. You may not be comfortable with simply typing in your name. In this case, you may want to use the Draw Tool option instead. That way, you can use your computer mouse to draw your signature. And again, once you click Save, you will need to position the signature where you want it and click to insert. And alternatively, if you find that drawing a signature with a mouse is challenging, then you could also have a third option which is to insert a picture of your handwritten signature into the form. To do so, from the dialog box, you will click on Select Image, and then locate the image file that contains your signature. Once you click Open, it will then become visible within the dialog box. Next, click on Save, and then position the image of your signature in the correct signature box on the page. And if necessary, you can resize the signature as needed.